you're watching Make Me Over Katie. Hi guys, lots of you have asked me to do more skincare videos, so I finally listened. I finally had time to show you what I do in the morning. If you were interested in my evening skincare routine and how I remove my makeup, I do have a video on that which I will link in the description box. But today I'm going to go through with you what I do in the morning usually. This is whether I'm wearing makeup or not and I hope you find it useful. So the first thing I do is get my hair out of my face, obviously. Now, cleansing is a very, very important step to your beauty routine. It doesn't matter what skin type you are. So cleansing your skin will promote healthier skin. When you're asleep, sebum will start to produce and sit on top of your skin. Um, as you sleep and your skin renews itself, all the dead layers also lie on top of your skin. So all the products that you've put the night before are also on top of your skin. So there is actually a lot of stuff in there. When you think about it, it's pretty gross. It has a pH level of six. Now what this means is it is very gentle and it won't disturb your natural pH balance. The skin's natural pH balance is about a five and a half. So pretty close. So one pump into my hand. And I just massage it onto my face. Now this is the kind of cleanser that smells really funky because it's got tar in it and it's it's very medicated. So very good for your skin but smells really nasty. So if that's not the thing you're into, there are plenty of gentle natural cleansers. Um, I've tried ones from Sukin and the likes but I will link um, all the alternative products that I've tried in the past that work the same in the description box just in case you're interested but basically if you massage this into your skin don't forget your eyes because this is a very gentle cleanser so it actually will cleanse your eyes also and it doesn't sting them as you can see I can open my eyes now don't forget that if you're normally doing this I normally do this in the shower actually so I will also cleanse my neck um, but for the purposes of today, I'm at a table with a bottle of water right here, <laughs> so I'm not going to cleanse my neck. That would be totally gross. So I've got some water down here. I'll just show you how it kind of lathers up. It doesn't really foam up. It just kind of lathers into this really silky kind of texture. And Okay, I'm going to wash this off in the sink and come back. Now after you cleanse, um, what is great to use is this little thing called a cognac sponge. <laughs> so it is a very, um, it comes very dry but when you wet it, it becomes this squishy sponge. Not sure if you can hear that, it's quite freaky. <laughs> this will actually help you mechanically remove any of those dead skin layers that the cleanser had left behind. So what I do is I'll wet it. And then I just gently massage it all over my face. It's gentle to use for babies even. So you can actually use this every day. Uh, and I have sensitive skin and this has never been, this has never over exfoliated my skin. Great sponge to use morning and night, no matter what skin type you are. It helps reduce your pores. It also helps with premature wrinkles and just refines the texture of your skin. Uh, my skin has improved so much after using this sponge. I used lukewarm water. Uh, no matter what skin type you are, do not use hot water. Um, if you have oilier skin, you can get away with water that's a little bit more warm. If your skin is more to the dry and sensitive side, then you would use water that is almost cold. So just lukewarm. I get some monthly, ooh, I get monthly breakouts. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. So that time of the month, I will get a few zits. And at the moment, I've got three. The spot treatment I'm using at the moment is the SK2 facial treatment lotion. So basically what I do is just with a cotton wool that's soaked in the product, just dab on those. Actually, I, I miscounted. I have four pimples. <laughs> so one, two, three, and four. So that 
spot treats any problem areas that you have. Traditionally, uh, toners were used to restore your skin's pH balance because most people used to use soap uh, to clean their skin back in the day. But these days, the cleansers that we use, you know, should be quite gentle and should have um, very good pH levels. So the toner that I use is just simple rose water. Um, this is the Rose Water Balancing Mist by Jolique. So what I do is I just spray it onto my skin. It smells really great. It's really refreshing, but it's actually got some antioxidants in there. That will just settle in my skin so I lightly pat this in my skin and what it also does is prepare your skin for the next step which everybody knows um, moisturizer so I at the moment have normal skin it's quite balanced it's not flaky but it's not oily at all um, so at the moment the purpose of my moisturizer is I want to protect my skin from environmental damage so protect it from the sun the wind um, and pollution so I use an oatmeal based moisturizer at the moment this one's by pure therapy but as I said I will list all the other products that I've used, tried, and know that works in the description box for you. Uh, so if you have oily skin, never skip moisturizer. It prevents premature aging, and it also plumps up and hydrates your skin so that no matter how, what your age is and what your skin type is, your skin will look more healthier and more youthful. I then go in with a moisturizer that has sunscreen. So this one is actually really, really good for the daytime. This was given to me by my friend Cam. Thank you so much, Cam, if you're watching. I don't know if you are, but um, it's been really good. And the only thing I've got to say about this moisturizer that I don't like is I actually don't know the SPF protection level. It doesn't say on the label. It does say it's got SPF protection, but I don't know how much it is. So at the moment, because it's winter, I will let this moisturizer get away with that. <laughs> um, but in the summer, I would probably have to switch to a moisturizer that I know has SPF of at least 30. So this is my second layer of moisturizer. Now you don't have to moisturize that, um, <laughs> You don't have to moisturize twice. It really just depends on your skin type. So that's what I do in the mornings. And the only last thing I do before I head out is put some lip balm on just to protect my lips. There are so many things to skin health and I hope that this video helps you along the way. And thank you for those of you who keep complimenting me on having great skin. Um, as you can see, I don't have makeup on and I am by no means flawless and most of my clients who are absolutely gorgeous models and performers, they're human too. They're absolutely beautiful, however, they don't have flawless skin either. So we're all different. Whatever skin condition you're trying to deal with is how you would tailor this. But basically the three steps of cleansing, toning and moisturizing is applicable to all skin types and the cognac sponge as well is suitable to all skin types. So I hope you found this video helpful guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.